From the floor of the CME Group, this is Danny Riley on this Wednesday, November 10th. The markets are kind of back and forth here this morning. The bonds are down a point, and the S&Ps just rallied a little bit. But let's back it up a little bit to the open, or before the open. There was about 335,000 minis traded pre-open in the S&P this morning. And when we opened up, we opened up around the 11, 12, 11 even level. We rallied up to the 12, 1180 level, and then we sold off down to the 1202 level, where our desk came out. Jason Carter pointed out that the 100 minute bar chart came right in, at, the support level came in right at the 1102 half level. Actually, Jason bought him down at that level, and right now we're back up trading 11, I'm sorry, 1209. You know, the, the, the markets are kind of in a, in a little bit of a spin here. You know, the, when we came out about two and a half, three months ago about the bearish bull sediment being so skewed to the, to the downside, the, the same report that we looked at that day is now pointing out that the bearish bull skew has moved way to the bull side. In fact, 51% are, are now bulls versus 20% bears. That's a big switch from what we've been seeing. Now, the highest level ever in the bears was back in 2009, I believe, where the bullish sediment got to, I believe, 53%. And right after that, we came, we, the, the big sell-off occurred. Now, it's, it's a very, very big contrary indicator, and it's something that we look at. It's, a very, it's very easy to follow. As the markets have gone up, the bullish sediment has increased, and it's increased to a point now where it's almost to a point where you can look at this and say, hey, this is exactly where we were back a couple of months months ago, but on the other side of the coin. Now, what we've noticed over the last couple of days, and a couple of people have hit us up on the IM, is that they are willing to start trying to sell rallies at these levels. And the equity report that the desk put out this morning, it was titled, is 1125 it? You know, in other words, is 1125 it? Is, is that going to be the high in the S&P? Now, we really don't know that. And the big, the big thing here is that there's still a lot of portfolio managers out there that need to buy stock. But that doesn't mean that the market can't pull back a little bit and then go back up again. Now the pit bull hit us up and he wanted us to remind everybody about this. This is a very important point. One of the rules that we follow is to look for a low the Thursday or Friday of the week before expiration. Expiration being next week for the November expiration. Statistically it's a good, it seems to be a very decent expiration, but the big thing here is that the pit bulls pointing out is that the markets never go down during big IPOs and that will be right in the middle of the GM $10 billion IPO. Okay, so get bearish all you want, but you know what? This desk is going to be looking for a low coming in this Thursday or Friday. Then we're going to be looking at mutual fund money. Then and then we're going to be looking at the GM IPO. So you want to get in the way of that? Do yourself a favor and get in the way of it. We'll be back tomorrow with another update.